simple. Take one. Take two. <laughs> for the grass to grow. What I want to talk to you guys about is that I've been editing a lot. I have so many my opinion Mondays. A bone chilling possibility. Maybe it's Monday. I kind of, before I even had to put, give it out to you guys, I'm so happy that that happened this way. I realized it just, I like my opinion and some of you may agree on my opinion, but sometimes my opinions change. My first My Opinion Monday, still stand by it so I won't be taking that down but I'm not gonna add any more I loved the concept of my opinion Mondays honestly it was so therapeutic to me I quickly realized that it wasn't work was I would talk myself into circles where it would just be like the arching idea the overarching idea it would go down a way to see the opposing side and then back to my point anyways and I don't know if that is a nice you know, balance or not. At the end of the day, Saved by the Bells is me saving myself. Hopefully you figure out something and you're able to help yourself, help me to help you to help him. At the end of the day, I'm not trying to teach anyone, guide anyone, save anyone. I'm just, you know, providing you guys with the things that I figure out works for me. Actually, I'm, I'm more reaching out to your guys' help, more of your guys, as you see. I need your guys' help. Help me. Help. Help. How did I end up, you know, fixing the stitch? Well, so I think that's that. Being mindful. By just sitting down and thinking with myself, what do I really want to talk about? I thought there are four big character char characteristics of my personality. I watched Inside Out today with my niece to talk about her emotions and, and you know, how to discuss it and how to get help and stuff like that when she feels sad and how, what sadness is there to do. It was a great therapy for me. I worked with a company that really, as you guys know, if you saw the Orlando video or work that hasn't come out because of that, that really just didn't need dirt dirt. No force on this planet is strong enough to get me to go for a walk in the park. Actually, I really, it took me a long time to just realize, I finally, actually, just recently, I'm saying a long time, like literally realized that there could be bad apples, but that doesn't mean the whole tree is bad. Check and see if maybe, you know, some bugs got into the apples and messed the apples up before you just chuck out the whole tree, you know? I decided I'm gonna hit those four characteristics that, you know, speak to me and talk about my personality and I just really want to talk out with you guys. I strongly believe that everyone should have a form of spirituality, a communication with a spirit. I believe in Jesus Christ, but I also believe Jesus to abolish religion so i don't want to say you should have a religion i, I just think that you should have uh, things that you could do to, to bring you back to that spirit and pull from that spirit like i pray and i worship and i just give my love to god and i just feel it and it just kind of like strengthens me and it kind of makes motivates me to keep going on because i know how much he's fighting for me so it's like how can I just keep asking him to fight for me if I'm not gonna show up halfway, you know what I mean? I truly believe that through meditation, prayer, communicating to the spirit, you can communicate to an outer spirit that's gonna help you connect with the earth. You know, you know? I hope you know. You gotta affirm to yourself and you get that affirmation when you're speaking to the spirit. And so whatever spirit you believe in, I believe in Jesus Christ, and I know he believes in you and I know he's fighting for you, but whatever, whatever name you call him by, you know, 
or her or they or them, you know. Whatever name you call your spirit by, the holiest of thou. You know, speak to them on a daily. Pull in that energy. I think meditation is so good for me. It could be great for you too. You know what I mean? Like a little sad. <laughs> so that's one of the, the big things I want to hit is, you know, spirituality. Hit it up. The next thing that I really want to discuss is we are society, you know, as a whole, as a whole entire earth society, you know, we were put on this earth to communicate with one another and that's how we progress and move forward. I want to, you know, hit the nail on the head with a couple of points I can use your guys' opinion on. We can communicate and just, you know, address some, you know, conversations. For instance, make conversation going on right now, Black Lives Matter, all lives matter. All lives do matter, but they can't matter until Black Lives Matter. So I'm just trying to kind of understand what the argument is. I am i can't pick a side if I don't even know if there's actually the same argument being had because you know, because, because, because you know, it's like we're saying the same thing, you know, all lives should matter, but they can't matter if black lives don't matter, you know what I mean? Just explain to me the argument. Show love because I really think that's the most important thing. If you're really so hateful and heinous that you can you know, do the absolute antithesis of love upon someone. Like, I just, the antithesis of love. You know, love is just like showering someone with just goodness and like kindness and just respect and adoration and just like, and lessons and discipline, you know, in, in the most positive of ways. Love is, you know, in a magnitude, it's an action, you know, it's, it's, there's a feeling to it, but that feeling only continuously drives the action. You're doing the antithesis of that, the absolute opposite of that. And just applying that same attention onto somebody, except to get the reverse effects, like like death, death, or or. And it's just like to me, I just think that if that's what you want to do, find Jesus. Like I don't know. You say you have Jesus, and that's what you're doing. You don't have Jesus. Like that's you gotta go and read the Bible, reevaluate whatever you're saying because this is I mean, it's not we're not reading the same book. That's just how you're not reading. I don't want to offend it. So all I'm gonna say is, it's it's love. I love you. Whatever your opinion is, you know. Um, I hope you love me. But if not, that's cool. Keep it pushing or stay. Whatever. I love me. So I hope you love me too. But if not, I love you. It's like it's crazy to me that there's there's an antithesis of like you know. Yes, all lives matter, but you know, they don't matter till black lives matter. And they don't matter till women lives matter. They don't matter till gay lives matter, and they don't matter until Native American lives matter. So, you know, we can we say all lives matter when it's like 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 certain amount of lives like get a special matter and the other lives get a different matter, you know what I mean? It's like, well then they're not mattering equally, so then they don't all matter because if this is matter right here, you know, this is what this is where matter is, you know. And then we have all these other other, you know, layers of the onion. Well they're not all here, so they don't all matter. So it's like we need to we want yeah, agreeance. Agreeance just you know, just yeah. Uh. You know, and go out in love. You know, you see someone say hi, give them a hug, but you know, at a distance. At a distance because, you know, Corona. It's also, if you're keeping up with the news, you also know there's Corona going on right now. And COVID-19 is a thing. Like, you just might stay alone. Last time I checked on it, it was 3,200 new cases, and that was Florida. When we're hugging, instead of hugging, you know, when you really want to hug someone, run the other way with the same energy. Just be like, ooh, you know, and like make sure like when you're doing that, getting to that six feet, you have your mask on. <laughs> you know, just just if you see them in the distance, you know, you don't have to keep it on the whole time. Like, I get, it's hard to breathe. You no, know? it's like you feel like someone is is, is putting their knee on your neck. <laughs> basically the same thing so like let's not infringe on that right right look i can compromise i believe in compromise it's a serious just bring it with you you don't have to wear it just bring it with you and you see someone and you want to hug them and you want to love on them and you want to say hey i love you but you know you can't get that close you know get that six feet put that mask on it's gonna feel like a hug and <laughs> say i love you someone wants to say hey Did you say hi? Did you say happy Wednesday? Are you gonna namaste? Stay in my lap? Alright, I'm gonna let you die. So we talked
talked about religion. We talked about social. Next, I want to talk to you about mindfulness. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> a quick read on what mindfulness is. Mindfulness requires that we not over identify with thoughts and feelings so that we are caught up and swept away by negativity. Stay present for the now of your life. It's your point of power. It takes practice to learn how to open up each moment of your life. But we have lots of moments and each one gives us a brand new chance to learn again. So mindfulness is just taking in each moment and actually learning those lessons and moving past them. You think the thoughts you're thinking, accepting the thoughts that you're thinking, and saying, I'm gonna move past the ones that I really didn't wanna think, and I'm gonna hold on to the ones that do. It is not dwelling on each second, as though that second deserves an hour. It is moving past that second to the next second to the next second to the next second and enjoying each one equivalently. I really wanna practice it. Um, I really want to just take some moments to breathe in and breathe out. That's the body being mindful. And the fourth thing that I really want to talk to you guys about is all that hot tea. Did you guys hear about what's going on with Jeffree Star? Spill Sesh has a great video on that. Of the muggles, well they see us. Muggles? They don't see nothing, do they? No, but if you jab them with a fork, they feel it. Did you guys see Alicia Keys on Tiny Desk? Uh, hello? Uh, hello, girl, Alicia. Alicia, sing to my soul, hello? You know those songs that just live inside of you? It lives inside of me and... She also did something amazing for Juneteenth and Juneteenth, guys! Uh, it's like basically a national holiday. If the Emancipation Proclamation was passed in 1863, why weren't you free until 1865? Well, it took two years for the Civil War to end. Oh, so you were free when the war ended? Nah, not for two more months because Texas landowners wanted another harvest. That's not cool. Well, none of it was cool. But an army ship arrived on June 19th, 1865 and announced we were free. That's why we celebrate Juneteenth. How do you celebrate Juneteenth? Let me know wherever the comments are now because I hear that they've moved. Tell me what's going on with you. Sure, hit up on that. Twitter, Insta, on the snaps, and all that. Just because I want to get social with you guys. Yeah, those are the four parts of my personality that I want to share with you guys every Monday. And just stay mindful with myself and just keep thinking about those things, listening to your guys' opinions on those things, helping myself grow, experiencing those things, learning the lessons I need to know, and moving on to the next Monday. So that's why I just really want to be mindful every Monday. And I want to be mindful with you guys. So I want to welcome you guys to Mindful Monday. So yes, this is not on a Monday, this is not on a Wednesday, but I just wanted to, you know, give you guys a video to welcome you guys to a little new segment on my channel. Yes, it's the one channel, and yes, we'll still have our little movies, but this is going to be a nice little segment so that way I can get you guys a little bit more footage um, more frequently. I think this should be fun. A little sit down, stash, a little talk, a little quick, quick, a little chop, chop, a little Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed that. My tea is boiling and it's ready for me. So I'm going to head on out and I hope you guys have an awesome week. Stay mindful. I'll see you next Monday. Mind your head. Mind your head.